Hello, this is Reptile Hunter, and I'm going to show you how to get a dolphin emulator working on your computer. It's actually pretty simple, but everybody on the internet makes it look like the hardest thing in the world. So I'm going to show you that it's really not, and I figured it out basically all by myself. I had a little bit of help with that guy with, um, I forgot his name, but he had a car as his background. And uh, I think his name was Nexus, I'm not sure, but thank you very much. But, no offense, but I'm just going to go more into depth with this and uh, show you a little bit more and hopefully help you out a little bit. Alright, so here we're going to start. First, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to get the Dolphin Emulator. Here, this was that guy's video. His name is IBM's. I did subscribe to him, so um, he has a few links here. I'm going to pull up the links a little bit better. Uh, here we go. Okay, the most important thing to even think you have to get to even think about getting any emulator is getting this rlab.com slash download.htm. Okay. What that does is it um, it changes your zip file slightly and it makes it much easier to extract and I think it's pretty mandatory because I've never tried without it and when I did, actually I did try without it and when I did it didn't work so this is very important. Remember to do RLAB before you do anything. Dolph so now we'll go to dolphin slash emu.com slash downloads .php. That is pretty mandatory. actually. There is no way of getting, don't even think about getting any ISOs without this because this is the only way you'll be able to get your GameCube games to work. It's the only known way, it's the only, only ever way in the year 2010. Uh, this is right now June, June 4th I believe. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Once you get to this page after clicking in that website, you're going to want to click that right there. So. Yep, and now here's the important part. You're going to want to find out if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. I'll tell you right now, my computer is a Windows Vista HP Pavilion, and it is a 32-bit. And I, I will show you how to find this out, okay? Here we go. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in Control Panel right there. So, right there control panel this should show up right up there and this will show up you're going to want to hit security not security um i think it was system yeah system and maintenance after you hit system and maintenance you're going to want to hit view amount of RAM and processor speed on your computer. So after you hit that, that's your last step, and you will find out right here. It will say system type, 32-bit operating system. Okay, so that means you're going to download the 32-bit one right there. So after you download the 32-bit one, hit download over there. This will come up. You want to save it and save. It really doesn't matter where you save it at this point because we're going to make a folder later in the video so I'm just going to save it to uh, desktop which means it's going to save right to the front of your computer. Once you turn on your TV screen, your TV screen, what the fuck am I talking about? I have a TV and computer because my computer rocks. So you see this just popped out right there so you're going to want to close everything on this page and then double click this hit run too zoomed in alright hit run and hit extract my computer is extremely fast so there we go. After you hit extract, you're going to get something like this in your folder. And you're going to want to drag this 
right to your desktop and you'll get this right here and congratulations you are done with step one getting the dolphin shortcut right on your menu Okay, I'm going to show you now how to get the ISOs now this is the toughest part and I, I really couldn't find a video clear about this other than that one video but I still I still had extreme problems with this because they didn't he didn't really clarify enough but he had a great video I'm gonna compliment him one more time and hopefully this will help a little bit more